According to Army recognition, the Ukrainian armed forces have received APR-40 122mm MLRI systems from Croatia. Details of the aid package were not disclosed. Earlier on February 28, 2023, Croatian Defense Minister Mario Banosic approved a comprehensive humanitarian and military aid package for Ukraine, including helicopters, tow artillery, multiple rocket launchers, small arms, manned portable air defense systems, ammunition, and other equipment. According to reports, Croatia is operating a total of 31 APR-40 systems ordered from Romania in 1992 to 1993. These are in fact the BM-21 grad systems designated APR-40 in service with the Romanian army but was slightly improved based on a DAC-665 T6 6x6 truck. Each launcher is normally accompanied by a resupply truck MITC with a 6-ton crane and a trailer RM-13. The APR-40 entered service in the late 1980s and is still in use by the Romanian armed forces today. The weapon system is designed to deliver indirect fire support to ground troops and engage various targets including enemy artillery, infantry formations, fortifications, and light armor vehicles. It is capable of launching 40 unguided rockets in a single salvo, providing a significant amount of firepower in a short amount of time. The APR-40 fires 122mm caliber rockets with a range of approximately 20 to 40 km, depending on the type of rocket used. The system can be loaded with various types of warheads, including high explosive fragmentation, incendiary, smoke, and illumination rounds, making it a versatile weapon for different battlefield scenarios. The crew of four to six personnel, including a driver, commander, and two to four operators. The MLRS can be prepared for firing in about three minutes and can launch its full complement of 40 rockets in less than 20 seconds. After firing, the vehicle can be reloaded and ready for another server within 10 minutes. From the very beginning of armed conflict, Romania has been supplying Ukrainian army with various weapons, ammunition, and fuel. The Romanian authorities even made changes to the country's legislation that was in force before the hot phase of the Ukrainian crisis, which made it possible to supply weapons from national stocks, not only to NATO members' partners, but also to countries that have the status of an ally in the alliance, which includes Ukraine.